I have a new addition to the shop. I want to tell you the pros and the cons. Hi everyone, welcome back to Pawpaw's Workshop. In this video, I'm going to talk about the X-Tool enclosure. There's a lot of features that I really like about this enclosure. I want to show it to you today. When you open up the box, you'll find everything is neatly packed in here. And inside, you have an exhaust fan that actually will get mounted onto this enclosure. Of course, you're going to have this exhaust vent right here. To be able to attach the hose to and you have the hose as well. In addition you have the various screws that you're going to need to assemble everything and as always we're going to have the manual right here. These instructions are very simple, very straightforward, and the nice thing about it is really just all pictures. The first set of pictures shows exactly what's contained in the uh, kit itself, and then the flip side of the page, it will actually show you the uh, assembly step by step, and it goes together super easy. You don't even have to read anything, it's all pictures. Let's get down now to the enclosure itself. Now this is very rigid and sturdy. It has this hingeable and this is a film that's over this hard protective cover so that you can see into the laser. I like that a lot better because you don't get the distortion. It's a clear solid lens. To operate the fan, you're going to need to have the little AC adapter and for the hose itself, of course, you're going to need the hose clamps. Here are the last two components of the enclosure. And again, they're all rigid. I like this. Have a Velcro cover right here that will cover up the area that you don't need. You also have a port right here. Of course, this is where the fan is going to connect. The assembly of this is all with Velcro. I actually like that. That makes being able to put this together and tear it down very quick and easy and really no parts to lose. Now this cover, you look up close, that's actually not sawdust. This is actually mold. So I'm going to treat that as if it's mold and get that cleaned up. I want to start with this side. This is where the fan will go on. And of course, this is where the cords will come out of the uh, machine and go to the computer. This hole is already set for this flange to be able to go on. And you have the holes here that are preset. So that makes it much easier. Now this fan needs to be installed where it blows out. It will suck the air out and it needs to be mounted on the outside. The one thing that I would suggest doing is plugging this in and make sure that you know which way the air is blowing. And this air is blowing this direction. Now very small arrow is shown right here for the direction of the airflow and another arrow is showing right here for the direction of the rotation. Now that's very hard to see but that's a backup way to be able to verify which way this fan is blowing. So it needs to be mounted in this manner so that it will blow out. So I'll take the flange and put a screw in this and then a screw all the way through the fan and then bring it right up here to this. Now this material is very, very tough. So I literally would suggest screwing this screw in place. It's not going to easily poke through. So 
So it's coming through now, so that will be good. I'll start a second screw and do the same thing and then just screw it into place. I have all the screws now actually coming through this material. Now I have a seven millimeter wrench that I'm going to use to tighten this. This is a whole lot easier than trying to do it with a pair of pliers. And that will just slip on just like that. Very, very easy and straightforward. With these screws already sticking through, that makes it very easy to be able to attach. If you find the screws rotating, just put the Allen wrench on the other side and then you can tighten it. Doesn't have to be real tight. All you're trying to do is just snug it up. Now this is the outside of the back. It has the Velcro on here. And on the other side, it'll have the Velcro for the inside. I'm going to take this, and this needs to be at the top. So I'm simply just going to stand that up and put that right there, just like that. That side is done. The front has this cut out. And the shiny side, you'll notice, will go out. So this will go on the end. This is a little bit darker color. So that will go right here. I'm going to unplug this. And this is the left side. This vent actually goes at the bottom. And you also have a snap at the top on the inside. So that will go right like this. And the basic enclosure is done. It's just that simple. The only thing is left is to put the lid on. This will just fold down like that. And you have your enclosure. I really like this solid lens. It makes it where you have a much clearer view of the inside. And I like the fact that you can just tilt this back. You have these straps on each side to be able to gain access to the laser inside. One thing you want to make sure of, you have these little wings right here. Make sure they're on the outside so that it will be able to attach to the Velcro. To attach the hose, it's really very straightforward. I would suggest putting the clamp on first and then just putting this on just like this and it will slide on fairly easily. It's a snug fit, but that's actually okay. Once you have that on, just simply squeeze the clamp and put the clamp in place and you're done. That will hold it and then you can vent this outside. So now that this is assembled, I want to be able to talk about what I liked and what I did not like. The first thing that I really like is this lens up on top. It's solid and it makes it where you can look inside and it's very clear and easy to be able to see what's taking place. The second thing that I really like about this is the fact that it has the rigid sides and it's easy to be able to put together with the Velcro. That is the number one thing that I like. No extra parts. You just simply separate the Velcro, fold it up, and you're ready to go. Assembly is just as easy. The first time you put it together, you just have to make sure that you know which is the top and bottom and front and back. Once you have that solved, everything else goes together so quickly. So those are the two biggest things that I like. So another feature that I like is this enclosure actually has two magnets embedded in here. So in that's right here and here. And that way when it closed, it's closed. That's actually a very nice feature also. One tip that I would give you is on these sides, have them pulled in just a little bit. That gives a little bit of support right here for when this lid drops down, it has some place to hit. I like that a lot better. If you put this all the way to this outer edge, then this lid 
will actually fall inside of here. You don't like that. So that's just a tip that I would give to you to be able to do, and that seals it very nice. And this gives a real good view of this clear shield here. You can see just how clear that it is, and when it's closed, it gives a perfect access to be able to visualize and see exactly what's happening with the laser. What did I not like? Well, really, there was two things. One was really out of the control of the X-Tool folks, and that was inside of the package that had the lid in it. It had mold. Now, that was probably due to the fact of the shipping and being on the ship and being transported halfway around the world. But needless to say, that had mold on it. And I had to stop everything and clean up the cover as well as clean up the areas in the shop where the uh, cover had touched. Once that was done, that was fine and we could, able, could move on. The other thing that I didn't like though is the fan itself. It just did not have enough power. It did pull the air out of the enclosure, but there's just not a lot there. So I would prefer a stronger fan. So in my case, what I think I'm gonna do is take that fan off completely and save it for a future project. And in place of that, the Comgro smoke purifier, I'll attach the hose to that flange and be able to use that as my um, filtration system and to be able to draw the smoke out of the enclosure. For my case, I think that'll work a lot better. Now, as far as these straps, if you don't want them, just unplug them, unsnap them, and then you can let this sit all the way back. So that gives you a little flexibility also. You don't have to have these straps attached, but they do work. In fact, I wish they were a hair longer because this one right here, when you put that up, it can have a tendency to fall down. So it would be nice if, oops, there it goes. It would be nice if these straps were just a little bit longer so that this lid could tilt back just a little bit more. I went ahead and put the X-Tool D1 inside of the enclosure and you can see that it fits very snug. It's designed specifically for this and it does fit and work very nicely. All the cables are out of the way. Everything is gonna function properly and that's what you want. Outside, I talked about this earlier. Now on the outside, you can see all three holes. The bottom hole is perfectly aligned so that you can turn the laser off and on and be able to plug in the cables. On the inside, you have the Velcro here, here, and here. And this little patch works perfectly to be able to go over that area right there. Now, if you need to be able to have access to this button inside of here, that's no problem. Just put this patch right up on the top strip of the Velcro and that will expose this hole and you can reach in and hit that button. Now, if you're using light burn software, you're really not gonna need this button. So in that case, just go ahead and cover up those two holes completely and that will take care of it. Now looking through this shield, you can see that you have a very clear picture of everything that's taking place inside of this enclosure. So you can see exactly what the laser will be doing. With the exhaust fan on, you can see that it's blowing out the air. But where is the air coming from? Remember on the other side, we had the vent right down here at the bottom. And if you put your hand down there, you can actually feel the air sucking in through that uh, opening. So that way you literally have cross ventilation from one side of this enclosure to the other to be able to get this air vented out. So those were the high points and the low points of this enclosure. But I guarantee you it will find some use in the shop and I'm glad to be able to have this as an addition. So if you like this video and you found it useful, by all means, go ahead, give me the thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe right down below. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos that I'm gonna be uploading. So for now, bye-bye.